Look, we just risked our shells rescuing you from Han and the Purple Dragons, so I think we're entitled to some answers. So he's finally decided to show himself. Attention all command units! Mobilize all mech battle sections! Prepare all weapons to strike incoming vessels! Mobilize Diablon! I don't care! We have no other option! We must protect the President and the Chaos Emeralds at all costs! Shadow, damn you! It's been 50 years. Justice will finally be served! Shosho is steadily taking control of the Kanto region. Ryomo, one of our stronger fighters, is gone and we don't know where. Plus, Saji has secluded himself in the mountains and Kane is still hospitalized. So Nanyo is missing three of the big four. If we really find ourselves under attack by Soso, am I going to be able to protect Hakufu on my own? Hi there. You're a hard hog to keep up with. Hey, hold on. We don't get such fast company very often. In fact, I'm glad you showed up. This place is way too peaceful. Over the last 12 months, I've only made one arrest. Some joker got it into his head that he was a hotshot driver, had his own Formula One car and everything. I guess he thought he'd give me a run for my money. But it was all over in a minute. It took me longer than that to suit up. <laughs> He never had a chance. Of course, it's our own fault. This town's dull mainly because of us. You see, we're the high-speed pursuit unit, the S-Team. And I'm the leader of the team. They call me the Highway Star. So even if you think you're the fastest thing around, think again. I'm using everything I've got. Gear change! Yeah! Ah! Got it! Let's go! Later! I am not to be trifled with! No! How could this happen? I wonder... Could it be true? Could our ancestors have left behind hidden treasures that's just waiting to be discovered? Uh-uh! If you get your greasy little hands on this, you'll probably use it in some crazy experiment of yours! You always say you only want this or that. Remember the teachings of our ancestors. Be careful what you ask for. Ultimately, you'll only get three true wishes. Fear the power of the flames. Gear change. What? Sorry. Nice. Power of flame. You'll never be a match for me. No, I can't lose now. The moment the temple lit up, the beast woke up. It appears he's come back to his senses. He is far stronger than any swordsman I have ever stood against. He is the strongest. No, more than that. His strength is not human. What can I do? I've only been able to defend myself so far because of the size of my blade. One strike of his would easily shatter a normal sword. So... The strength of our weapons are at least equal. Somebody's gotta stop those purple dragons. Somebody's gotta make them pay. And they will. They'll all pay, cause Casey Jones is on the job! Uh, hey, bro! <laughs> Big Brother! Welcome back! <laughs> uh, you know, we almost didn't survive that mission at Nanking. And just when I thought my sworn brother was going to ride in and save the day, this little brat shows up instead! Oh. <laughs> Knock it off, Sonic. By the way, have you seen Eggman? Uh, well, the Master Emerald seems to be missing again, and... What? Hey, come back here! Try to beat me to Eggman, Willy. Hey, we've got a bone to pick with you, too! What'd you say? I'll show you how tired I am. It was a little bit before the Tremors hit. This old man showed up with a... and a... and a whole pack of robots. They carried poor Professor Pickle off. Lab data and all. Oh, I'm the best. The best pirate, that is. But I have principles. 
I never steal from anybody with less than me, and I never hurt anybody if I can avoid it. There are worse things I could be. Look, kid, sometimes these jobs don't turn out the way you plan. I would rather not say. It's none of your business anyway, my friend. Now you'd better get going. That was your mistake. See you on the track. Oh? Uh, now, now. Be gentle. Yours until I break, master. A little advice. Wear white and you invite mudslinging. So, I came out of that weapon of yours. Scandalous. Don't you just love to gaze at a full moon? Where is Lord Leo? I'm sworn to protect him. You and your prince are in quite a difficult position. I'll be glad to assist. Really? Yes. Let's go. You can't hide from me. Take this, friend. Here's a taste. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Broken. Good evening. You have reached the goddess helpline. I shall take your request in person. Good evening. Please tell me, what is your heart's desire? Oh, oh goodness. Allow me to introduce myself. How do you do? Fear not, I am the goddess Beldandi. I am, and my duty is to come to those who are in great distress, and to assist people such as yourself. Now then, your wish is my command. Anything you desire. Somebody's gonna die. You know how I know this? Cause I'm gonna kill them. The casing's been modified, but the package is definitely shield design. Experimental. Very new. If one of those clowns had gotten a round off near civilians once it went hot, if I knew that, I'd be killing somebody already. You know for sure this guy's an E.T.? So, he could be anything. Could even be a mutant. Yugi, huh? you missed this one piece. <laughs> yes, I know. You can't complete it without them all. Sure. Whoa! Uh, yes, fine. I've got to get back to school. Oh, I gotta make that other call. What was that number? Oh, uh, sorry, you must have dialed the wrong number. Uh, no, what? Wait a second, I don't understand! A goddess? Yes. I've known comfort like that. Family can chase away the shadows of fear, like a light from above. I was only an infant. But I can still remember that cold, dark night when I felt the lights for the first time. She gave me shelter from the cold and brought me into her home, deep below the desert sands, to raise me as if I were her own. All was peaceful, until the day I discovered my family's secret. You don't know how long I've been waiting to battle you. The things I've had to do to make it possible. But for me, there never was a choice. After all, my scars of defeat run deep, Pharaoh. Scars you inflicted upon me. And though they may never go away, something can be done to make them easier to live with. Inflict upon your enemy an even greater wound. A defeat so resounding it leaves their soul completely crushed. You're the closest I've ever had to a worthy adversary. But you aren't worthy, and I'm finally going to prove it. It's true. I went to a great deal of trouble recreating the Pharaoh's deck, strategies, even his perfectly coiffed hair. In fact, that part is what took the longest. But still! He wasn't the real Pharaoh, so I didn't really beat him. And until I do, my scars of defeat will continue to burn. Fire whoever designed that bottle. Kaiba Corp's products shouldn't bend that easily. Yeah, well, I'd rather use a good old-fashioned ninja weapon anyway. Uh, I just made it up on the fly. Too bad Sensei wasn't around to see it. Looks like the Dreadnoughts had to call in the big guns to back him up. Right. All right, fellas. Watch the birdie. Watch it. Watch it. I'll take that power stone now. It appears to me that Team Rocket is up to no good as usual with some kind of experiment going on here at Lake Rage. I have a strong hunch. It has something to do with that red Gyarados you guys just saw. No way! The forest is a very dangerous place with lots of twists and turns, and I couldn't take responsibility for what might happen to all of you. I must insist you follow this path. 
and you'll get to the riverbank that will lead the three of you to Mahogany Town. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry. You're here at Shuyu's place. Maybe we should have Dr. Kata take a look at her. She's got stab wounds all over. Whomever Ryoma was fighting with wanted her dead, that's for sure. Pardon me, good travelers. <clears throat> I don't mean to <clears throat> interrupt, but I am Salmon, the elder of this village. You look familiar, and I just wanted to ask if you are, by any chance, the renowned sorceress Lena Inverse. Please! Our village is in great danger. We have need for the famous bandit killer, the dragon spooker, Lena Inverse. You must use your magic power to save us. <laughs> it means dragon step past out of clear revulsion. Wait! I didn't mean to offend you. Please, we need your help. The people of this village are being terrorized by a filthy gang of bloodthirsty bandits. <laughs> you have saved our village from the curse of the black dragon. Those bandits were keeping that black dragon as a pet and our village's soldiers couldn't fight it. While the dragon lived, we were slaves to the bandit gang. But now we have been freed by the great and mighty sorceress, Lena Inver. I must tell everyone the news. Oh, happy day! Just having Jasmine take a look at my contest moves. Dawn, so what's the plan from here on out? And after that? There's still lots of time before the next grand festival. So are you going to go back to Twinleaf Town for a while? Or are you going to keep traveling on your journey instead? In that case, let's go! That's my Floatzel Team Rocket! I'm sorry to interrupt while you're clearly relaxing. Know that your abilities were not meant to be squandered in this era. I'm to pass your report on to Professor Kyogoku. I would hope you haven't lost sight of your mission. This is the moon. It has a yellowish hue in this era. It's unsettling. Ryoichi. You're spending your time sampling this era's food? Don't get any more involved than needed. Especially if you're aware that this Seki boy you is... Don't... It's not my place to speculate on the professor's personal feelings. The boy could indeed pose a threat. I can say nothing further on the matter. Now, let's move forward with the mission. You've already found several that have latent abilities. So let us allow the people of this era to adequately handle their own affairs. This is no time to be humble, buddy! You won the championship because you were the best gamer on the island! Better than Weevil, better than Mako, even better than me and Mai! All because you believed in the heart of the cards, no matter who your opponent was or how tough he seemed! Don't forget that you defeated the inventor of Duel Monsters at his own game! No. You can beat this Joker at his! You can't let this Duke of Dork shake you! You're the king of games, Yug! So what if Dungeon Dice Monsters has a few new rules? If you just trust in yourself, you can still win! You taught me that, pal! Well, I'm ready! So let's do it! Here goes! Sweet! I'm gonna summon Elemental Hero Avian in defense mode! I'll also throw down a face down! Alright! Get your game on! I made the Academy! Mwah! I'm in! I'm in! Ha <laughs> ha! We're both in, and from here on out, you and I will be partners. That's okay. This isn't the time, Sai. Although, if you've got some bread and cheese and maybe some butter, you're gonna go look for Ra, aren't you? Well, then you'll need this. It's a new card that I designed myself. Anyway, it's a field spell, and it might come in handy. Thor, so my plan worked. Of course. To lull the enemy into a false sense of security is worse than that, my friend. But for the moment, you might want to watch your back. You have my thanks. The Marauders. The Forges are not their only target. You know what lies underneath the Avalir. Well, the Marauders do too. Would seem so. Mangog is rage incarnate. It is said he was born from the hate of a billion souls. If he's freed... <laughs>
here. It's really important that you come back to heaven with me right away. Hey, kid! Uh, Are you Keiji Morisato? This entire thing is all your fault! Stop whining and take responsibility! Lucy Liberty, we're offering you the opportunity to become a full-fledged member of the Elite Mobile Task Force. Lucy, it's up to you to decide. Are you willing to risk your life with the other members of the Force to stop Black Shadow and the Dark Million organization? It's dangerous work, and we'll understand if you choose to leave. But if you accept this badge, we'll all be proud to have you on our team. Tell me something, my lord. Why are most men so preoccupied by bloodshed? Lord Griffith, you are such a marvelous person. You are more noble than the aristocrats we call nobles. But on the day of the hunt, when you taught me how to play the leaf, you seemed like an innocent little child. But when you shared your thoughts, you were like a philosopher. I'm sure your friends are equally fascinated by you. I'm certain it's what attracts them to you. What your eyes don't see is very clear to me. Ah, it doesn't get any better than this. Nurse Joy's and Officer Jenny's everywhere. Ah, you're the Joy from Saffron City. Yeah. Ah, and you're the Joy from Celadon City. Ah, oh, remember me? I am sorry that I've been so busy. I know we haven't really found a time to talk. I just wanted a chance to thank you properly. I know I've been responsible for putting you through a lot of hardships. And so, thank you for all you've done. We've forced things on you that no one your age should have to endure, and you always gave us your all. Not everyone may be able to put it into words, but we are all grateful to have had you. Send the coordinates of the island they landed on and a rescue signal back to Orb. They'll have to accept. We're asking them to save lives. But if we ask I will take on the responsibility! Power up the engine! Your new directive is to get us out of here as fast as possible! I know that. And if I could, I'd be back there now. I'd be flying there to bring them home. But right now, that's impossible. And I cannot bring myself to allow you to go out there on your own. I just can't. If you got lost too, I don't think I'd be able to take it. I might... I need you to trust Orb. Trust that they can bring them home. I need you to stay. You got that right! As distinguished members of the Auto Club, we got a duty to get out there and show people what we're made of! Yes, that? You would put German class above Auto Club? Where are your loyalties? You're breaking my heart, man! We didn't raise you to be that way! We'll discuss this further back at the clubhouse. You can all see for yourselves. This is all that's left of the Auto Club's budget for the month. Can anyone tell me why? Oh, yeah. Well, never mind that! If we don't do something, there'll be no club activities! That's why we're all going out there to fundraise! Uh, I don't know who these freaks are, but they're not the Turtles. Hey, this doesn't look good. Let's go! I'll take you all on! Alright, let's give this a go. Come on, Celia! Oh, my mistake. I'll take care of this! Finishing strike! Flashing blade! <laughs> Isn't this fun? All right, feeling good! That was too easy! I knew that would work! What, not dead yet? Hey, is this for real? Huh, oh well. No way! Not bad, I guess. Of course, it was all thanks to me. Aw, oh, over already? I still wanted to fight! Boys, I'm so proud of you for working together. You'll both be better drivers than I ever was. Even though it tears me apart, there are reasons I can't see you now. But I hope to see you soon. Dad. Well, kid, did good making it this far. Ever hear of the Freaky Monkey Five? Well, I'm Blue Monkey! The boss has ordered me to stop you, so I'm afraid that's what I gotta do. Don't take it personal, kid. I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? Hey, kid, didn't your mama ever teach you not to cross at a red light? Well, I'll make sure you never forget. Ha! Rule of Flaga taking off. You'd better not sink while I'm gone. What's up? Oh. Hey! 
What are you doing in there? Come on out! Come out, kiddo. Hey, kid, it's all right. Why don't you let go and we'll get out of here, okay? We're both safe. We're alive. And the ship, too. You did great today. You can't blame yourself for that. I should have been watching, too. He's done so many incredible things for us, of course he's on edge. We live under constant threat. And every time we're attacked, he gets in that weapon. We fight, but I think he feels solely responsible for protecting the ship, and he can only carry that weight for so long before he just loses it. I've already seen the truth with my own eyes. There's not a single officer left inside. They left us behind so we could be their bait. This line is being held only by Eurasian soldiers and ships they've given up on. Katsugu? Now, if you're quite done playing with these children, we have some paperwork to take care of. Listen, Father. Ren will surely lose. His opponent is Yo Asakura. Yo Asakura is a very strange boy. He continued to worry about Pyron and me, even as he fought against us. But I sensed in him... A deep, unmistakable sadness that felt much like ours. As well as a warmth that I've never experienced before encountering him. Ren, who only knows how to destroy, lacks that gift. He isn't obsessed with Yo because he lost to him. It's because he senses a power from him that is the antithesis of his own. That power is the ability to make something from nothing. Ren truly believes he'll be able to numb his own sadness by completely destroying everything. But only one thing can neutralize that negative energy. He needs to develop his own infinite warmth and learn how to create something from nothing. According to our tracking systems, they were headed to 21 mu- oh, Darn it! The power's gone dead! <laughs> Well, the old girl hung on just about as long as she could. No time to waste. We'd best get rolling in the Dune Runner. We'll head for Cobra's last known position. Tunnel Rats, watch your GPS. We're straying off course. Their last fix was 21 Mark 4. And you're two degrees off. Let's hope so. Keep it up! You snuck up behind me. That is always a mistake. This Pikachu, are you its master? Friends? I don't have any friends. And I don't want any. A mind like a steel trap, this one. Know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but... Did you get a perm job or something? You look, uh, different. Oh, I wish I could have been more honest with Miss Lena. Still, I'm here this time as Seirun's ambassador. Oh, I hope I can prevent a war from starting. I have to be diplomatic, and Miss Lena doesn't know what that means. First run! <laughs> I couldn't seriously fight one of my old comrades, but if I show any mercy to Mr. Zelgatis, there's no way I can win. Still, if I appeal to him as an old friend, he'll see the big picture and realize that justice is... Huh? Hey, when did this happen? A clever plan, Mr. Zelgatis. You used my love of justice against me in an act of psychological warfare. Here I am, captured for the sake of world peace and justice. Oh, how beautiful! Hey, you're right! This isn't how I'm supposed to act at a time like this. I want to be the hero who rescues the captured princess. Remember that weirdo who used to clean the pool? When Dad came home and saw that guy had a mark on his cheek, he fired him. Dad said that mark meant he was in the facility. I can't! You guys don't understand! Something strange happens to me whenever I duel. I draw! And I summon Sunny Pixie in defense mode! You've obviously made good friends. Your journey was the right choice. Huh? There's no doubt that you've grown a lot. But you mustn't stop there. Continue training. Become even more powerful. And as you do, I hope you'll come back and visit. I'd like to make a formal request of the Fairy Tale Guild. My father spent his final days trying to rid the Phoenix Stones of the curse they carry. Will you help me to achieve it? Listen to me! You mustn't revive the Phoenix! Man cannot control its destructive power! I'm fine, and I remember everything. All that happened. Veronica was built on top of the ruins of Fire Village. That was where I lived long ago. It was burned to the ground 400 years ago. The night I was given eternal life. Perhaps as a result from the blood of the phoenix, my memory had been wiped clean. I carried the stone with me, not knowing why. 
wandering aimlessly throughout the countryside. I drifted for what seemed like an eternity, time marked only by the graves of those I held close to my heart, an ocean of tears between us. Four hundred years, an expanse of time no one should endure. Thor, my son, long we believed, rather we hoped, that the Dark Elves were dead. Tell me what you have learned. They did not attack you with the weapons? This is what I feared. These Uru weapons that each recreated can be used to channel energy just as Mjolnir does with lightning. If the Dark Elves were to do this throughout all the nine worlds simultaneously, the power of these weapons could plunge the universe into an eternal night. No, while the individual weapons are incredibly powerful, the Dark Elf ritual cannot be completed so long as the sword and axe are safe on Asgard. No, that is not possible. None would dare. After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the crimson glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. Hm. You truly believe to have me cornered? How mistaken you are. The power to control this world lies in none other than... <clears throat> this resplendent crimson glow! Sorry, did you miss someone because of me? Well, then I'll help you. Two heads are better than one when looking for someone. I'm Amy Rose. It's nice to meet you. Even if that was true. If I had to choose between the world and Sonic, I would choose Sonic. So, Elise, watch over him. Sir, we must give the robot a short breather. As you know, the plasma beam and ion shield use a great deal of power. I just got the most disturbing prank call. They said that the airplane my beloved was on had gone down. The news is showing all the grisly details right now. But it's like they're talking about some distant foreign country. Oh God. There's no answer to my prayers. I never feel a moment of rest or comfort, only a wrenching sadness and a despair that grows and grows. Finally, I found the reference I'd been looking for. The invisible god wouldn't bend the laws that govern life, but the devil. Beyond that cursed village, deep in the forest, is a singularity. It has the power to return life with the power of darkness. Time is nothing more than torture for me. Raikou is a legendary Pokémon and is both unique and extraordinary. While Raikou answers to no one and is both free and independent, men have always tried to capture that which they cannot possess. When they see that Raikou can control thunder and lightning, they are envious. They think that if they catch it, they too will have this power. And so, men have always hunted Raikou. Bama! Wotan, is it true that you have summoned Mime, the organ player of Planet Rhyme? You mustn't. Stop this now. Immediately. I understand, Frika. But if we on Valhalla lose the reverberating sounds of Rhyme, and if the ring made from the stolen gold creates a greater oscillation, the oscillation sent out by Freya's organ will be suppressed. Mime, like her brother, has never been one of our clan. She is a woman of the Nibelung clan from Nibelheim, and her spirit is the same as that of her brother, Alberic. No one can ever control them. Not even you. Not even the God of Gods. 
but of greater concern are the ones Mime has been protecting. They are the creatures from Earth known as humans. I am Elder, the prophet of Valhalla. I can see the past and the future within my soul. That is why I know that we should not strike out Mime and the humans she protects. <laughs> Well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule, kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. It's a Meloetta. An extremely rare Pokémon. It's obviously been injured. It needs help. That should take care of the wound, but it's still very weak. Let's see. Do you think one of you could go and find me an Orinberry? I'm counting on you. Ash, I'd like you to stay here and help me. Meloetta has a bit of a fever. We're making Meloetta an ice pack. Watch and you'll see. Glaceon! Use Ice Beam to free some of the river water. Now, all we do is crush the ice. Now gently wipe its face with this. That should help the fever. All we need now is an Orinberry. Huh? Who could this be? Yes? That's right, this is Cynthia. Are you kidding? I understand. But I'm afraid I can't come right now. Wow, that's so nice. Yes, I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm sorry, but there's a situation I need to take care of back in Verbank City right away. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I've endured many things in my life. I've been trapped in an ancient pyramid, stung by scorpions, attacked by Tibetan wolves, but nothing compares to this. A new game shop. They think they can drive me out of business selling their trendy new trash. But they have no respect for the gaming traditions, the true classics, because they sell only the fads of today. For you. Because you share the same dream that I do, Sanji. They're wrong. Find the Grand Line. That's where you'll find the Great Blue. I'll never make it there, so do it for me. Ugh. Ugh. I've been left high and dry like this many a time before, Sanji. And the only thing that keeps me going is this. I dream about a floating restaurant. It's what I've always wanted. And if I make it true this, I'll do everything to make my dream come true. Boy, when you guys are out of town, the threats on my life sure do pile up. <gasps> there are eight of you now. Holy scoop! The future has shone upon us with its glorious brilliance. brilliance. The time to seize our destiny and conquer all our fears is now. now. In ancient time, man rubbed sticks together to create fire. fire. Then they fire. slaughtered the whale and battled one another for oil. oil. After that came the atomic age. In every chapter of our history, we danced with danger. danger. But now it will be different. For the first time in existence, we will be delivered from fear. Finally, we will escape the prison of our illusions, and the beautiful night will embrace us all! But they were retreating! Damn you, Wakuse! It seems you're as reckless as ever, Lieutenant Ramius. Very well. Archangel, prepare for descent immediately. We'll cover you to atmosphere entry. And we won't let a single enemy get near you. No need to look so glum, Artis. It will be too late. My intuition has never let us down before. If we let this chance slip away, then I assure you we will be paying for that failure with our very lives. 
The new mobile weapons are the core of Earth's strategy. We must take them. Now. I'm not going to kill you. Not after I went through the trouble of bringing you. You won't die until you know everything. Aren't you curious? About where our greed is taking us. About a rapacious dream carried out by fools. Blinded by their need for progress. After all, you're also one of their sons. No, not I! Mankind dreamed this. They hoped for this. They made this! They had to be stronger. They had to be smarter. They had to go higher. People compete. They hate. They envy. They devour each other. In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. But I will leave you with this bit of advice. Or rather, I will foretell your doom. If you think this man your friend, then know this. When you regard one another as brother, and this man's ambition crumbles, it is your destiny to face your death. You cannot escape your fate! I, Adon, leader of the mighty Blue Whale Ultra Heavy Armored Fierce Assault Annihilation Night Corps, shall punish you! What's wrong? Nowhere else to run? <laughs> How could someone like you command a thousand men? The band of the Hawk must have been scraping the bottom of the barrel! Ah. Feisty, are we? On second thought, you are quite attractive. Come back with me to Tudor. What do you say? Huh? I'll put a thousand men under you. A thousand Tudor soldiers! So you can keep them warm at night! <laughs> you got lucky with that block, boy. But I doubt your luck will hold. My spear technique has been passed down through the Corbowitz family for over 140 years! It's my ultimate secret weapon, Guns and Senpo! Excellent work, Shelly. You have once again proven yourself worthy of my trust. So now I think we should get the show on the road. Convey our will to Kyogre, Great Red Orb, and allow this great power to be released now! <laughs> Team Magma crumbles when faced with Kyogre's power. Time to finish this up once and for all! Kyogre, let's go! <laughs> So, Kyogre, together you and I can make quite a team. Here's the deal. Team Magma will be dissolved today, while Team Aqua emerges as ruler of the world. Or else... If you prefer, I could use Kyogre to destroy everything while you stand there. So, I heard your buddy Rick Wheeler saved your butt the other night. My boys found out all about you and your precious little dream boat. Listen, Truman, if you want your girlfriend to stay healthy, you're gonna do exactly what I tell you to. Truman, you betrayed me. <sighs> Nobody betrays Michael Chain and gets away with it. That's right. With all the good pilots out of the picture, I'll win all the races and all of the prize money. You ain't bluffing your way out of this one, Duke. The Dreadnoughts are gonna have a lot of fun knocking that smirk off your face. Now drop your weapons. <laughs> It seems you've reached the end of the line, Professor. I'm afraid your options are quite limited. Hand over the case. <laughs> Such strife. And all because of the drive system you develop. Hmm. My deepest sympathies. Of course you understand I have a job to finish. Any prayers for protection are about ten years too late. Now then. <laughs> ah, not the energy system! Attention, Professor Honeycutt. This is Commander Mozar. Return at once to the Triceraton homeworld, or face the wrath of the Republic's fiercest warriors. No. The Triceraton Republic is eager to settle this matter peacefully. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Federation with everything we've got. We Triceratons have always honored our treaties. Prepare to attack. 
It is the Federation who must provide assurances of non-aggression. You Federation slime didn't force 150 planets under your rule by acting honorably, Hairless Ape. I had about given up. What is it you found? Put it on screen. Ah, oh, egad! It's a Lugia, but so small. It must be a young one. Can you imagine a more destructive force? I must have it! The same thing I always order! Fish sticks! Move in and capture it at once and make sure it's unharmed! Unacceptable. Get back out there and try to capture it once again. You see, both Charizard and Feraligator failed in my tests. I need a Lugia for my Pokémon Power Magnifying Project. I draw out a Pokémon's full power and focus it into a beam of incredible energy. Initiate backup capture plan! We do have one of those, yes? Uh, You're sure you haven't, uh, brought lunch with you? Ah, so it is finally complete. I'm sure with this latest acquisition under Big Fire's control, our long-standing battle will finally come to an end. Let us begin the operation immediately. Sir, exactly why not? But how? Ninja, 12 o'clock! This could have been avoided if June hadn't started to waver. The Tao family doctrine says one must never possess doubt. The average man is weak because he hesitates endlessly pondering the difference between right and wrong. You see, there's but one truth in the world, which is that the victor is always righteous and the loser always wicked. And that is why we must only focus on claiming victory for the family. We'll do so until our glory is restored and we are righteous once again. June chose to bring the curse of uncertainty upon the Tao family. So there should be no surprise that corrections must be made. Don't move another step. If you try to help her, then you will be guilty by association. Papa would rather not punish you if he doesn't have to. You doubted yourself, Red. I told you, didn't I? Doubt will obscure you from the truth of a situation. My dear son, you're so foolish. My patience is wearing thin. I am banishing you to a time war from which you shall never return. <laughs> Turtle soup, my favorite. Very well, but first you must join me on a secret mission. Tell no one of this, not even your own bodyguard. I learned of it long ago from my link with the betrayer. It was I who directed the organization here in the first place. Neil Worms. Orapor. Now, take them. Cut the race. Glass hm. ninjas. <laughs> what do you think about that, Storm Shadow? Firefly has done us both a great favor. And he's filling in the final space in my new art collection. With the great snake eyes! Without him, Sigma-6 has crippled. Destro, it seems your automated defense systems did nothing to stop the Sigma attack. You left Firefly and my base unprotected. What are you going to do about that? That won't happen this time. Because we now have the Pokemon control device. I have no need for you anymore. Oh, legendary Pokémon Reshiram, come forth and ignite your flames, and descend into our world once more! Reshiram, welcome! I am Getsis. I have been anxiously awaiting your return! I expected you'd be angry. That doesn't matter! You shall be my weapon! Hear me, Reshiram! By order of Team Plasma, I command you to engulf those people in flame! It's no secret. Simply a matter of staying six moves ahead of your opponent at all times. But Ernest, the Arctic is a perfect place to throw a chill into the enemy. My moves will be precise and lethal. First, I'll eliminate the pawns, then conquer the king. And as usual, that's checkmate. I wish I could find a truly challenging opponent. So! How's it going, my friends? You're all hanging pretty good, I see. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know you can hear me. Hello? We you should have known we'd be back, Seto Kaiba, for revenge. It's 
surprised to see us again, Kaiba? That's right. But did you honestly believe that you'd seen the last of us? We wandered through cyberspace for what seemed like an eternity, thinking of one question over and over. How could we get revenge for our suffering? <laughs> oh, how ironic fate can be. I would never have believed I would be resurrected through your shade. I thank you, Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm Mephilus. Mephilus the Dark. What? Did you forget me? I owe much to you, Shadow. What you gave to me, I now return to you. A one-way ticket to oblivion. And after 20 years of experimentation, we got just what we want. The synthesized distillation of the IQ plant's potent powers. A new drug, SIQ. With a single injection, the animals evolve into perfect fighting machines. Their astounding strength only matched by their boundless aggression. And the more we give them, the more violent they get. You've never seen such savage animals. Piddle, piddle, piddle. Why should I? You can look all you'd like, but why would I give you my own personal emergency stash? So, you think I'm weak, do you? You think you can beat me, you East Blue Hick? Nobody cares if your crap whole seat gets destroyed! All you people are worthless! No one cares! <laughs> I am here! Come and face your... I kill you, Doctor! Years in the making. Mm. Our inability to protect Malaya was easily predicted. It will be a trifle to recapture, but oh, the loss of V's Electra. That is a failure that must not go unpunished. Right? Rico Rodriguez has returned, born of the same fire that gave rise to my reign. Soon, the world will know the extent of my power. He offers an opportunity for demonstration. Perhaps some motivation. The town of Costa del Porto. Barnett! And when he comes to protect the insignificant, kill his friend. Every action must and will incur a terrible reaction. And then the embers of the revolution will crumble to ash as they always have throughout history. Use the tanks. I'm proud of you. You realized you must uphold the family tradition. A man who can't settle down is like a bumblebee without a nose. He'll never sniff the daffodils of life. Tiny godlings. You think to invade my realm? Time and time again, you cause my people to suffer. Now it ends. Now Asgard will freeze for its arrogance. Whatever you sought, you found death!